Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make NFC business cards work on iPhone. In previous videos I made, I was mainly doing it on Android and some of the guys in the comments were saying, hey, this doesn't work on iPhone, it doesn't work on iPhone. And I'm gonna show you exactly why it doesn't work on iPhone and this is how to fix it. The way NFC tags work is they have a small amount of space on them that allows you to add data in the form of text. Now, when we add a contact card via NFC tools, for example, it adds it in a text format with a vcard.begin and a vcard.end type of format. Now, Android can recognize that very easily and they understand that, hey, you must be giving me a vcard. I'm gonna show it to you as a contact. Now, iPhone is slightly different. And the reason that is because of Apple Pay and heightened security, it doesn't let you just scan anything that it doesn't recognize. So we may be scanning iPhone and it might pick up in the background, but it doesn't actually show the user what it's found until it recognizes the file format. The next thing to understand is that iPhone will only recognize a VCF file. The VCF file is known as a vCard, and that is exactly how we have to present it to iPhone. So in this case, because we can't upload VCF files directly to NFC tags, the only thing we can do is we can send it a link that we can then pull that VCF file from an outside source and then run it on the iPhone. So I know this sounds a bit complicated, but I'm gonna show you exactly how to make a V card and then link it to your NFC tag without any subscriptions and it's absolutely free. So without further ado, let's jump in. So we're gonna jump in quickly and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this on our website called vcard.link. So let's go to it now, let's go vcard.link. I'm gonna leave this in the description below as well just to help you out. When you get there, you're gonna enter a website like this. Whoever made this site, thank you so much, you're the best because this helped me out so much. And what this does is this allows us to create a VCF file that we can store online and then load onto our NFC cards. So first thing you have to do is just make a card name. I'm just gonna make a new card with you guys just so we can do it together. Let's call it Brain Martins. Authentication, email address, password. What this is, is a, is a basically a soft account. So it's just to authenticate the cards that you can make changes and edits to the card after it's already been made. So you don't have to remake the card and then re-upload if you wanna make any changes to it. You can just do it on the vcard.link, but in order to do that, you'd have to then enter the authentication email and password. So just put your email address and your password in here. Uh, it is spam free. I've never ever received an email from these guys ever. It legitimately is just an authentication. So I'm gonna put in an email address here and a password. Let's make it cool password. Your photo, you can put your photo of yourself here. Remember to try keep it small in terms of size because we don't want to have to uh, upload and download large contact files. So make this small if you use a photo at all. There is also a link here that says how to optimize your vCard. Have a look at that as well if you're interested in trying to make sure you get a really good card coming out of this. Next will be your title. So it's a Mr. Suffix, I don't know, Suffix, Bren Martins, my birthday. This is not my birthday. Um, organization name, cool stuff company uh position title the guy with the cool stuff okay and then what we can do is we can add our email our phones here our phone numbers we can add our email addresses we can add our website you can go you can go crazy here so you can do as much as you want here notes i don't necessarily think you need a note but you can add that here as well so when you're happy uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna add a, a phone number just so that we have something here, plus, because I'm in South Africa, plus two seven. There, that's right. That's what I want to do, email address. Uh, you know what, I'll add my email address in here, just in case. Cool. So that's pretty much what it'll look like. And when we're happy with that, we can say create card and done. So what this does now is here is our card. It's given us um, all the details that I put in before. And this will be saved to a VCF file that then you can upload to the NFC card, which I'm gonna show you how to do in a moment. You're given a few options as well. So you can actually go scan or save. So if I, if I, if I save it, it's gonna download it to my computer as a VCF file. That's cool, we can, we can, we can have that. Um, if we share it, it gives us some options. The web URL, the QR code, the physical VCF file or a JSON link, you won't need that. So what we wanna do is the easiest way to get this done for it to work on iPhone is to actually just download the web URL and then use that as the 
link to the vcard on the v nfc tools app <clears throat> so that is pretty much what we're going to do now we're going to take this web url and i'm going to show you how to do that on your phone in a second okay guys so now we have our nfc card we have our phone and i'm going to show you how to get this exact v card link onto your phone so first thing we do is we go to nfc tools once it's open we go to the right tab and then we go add a new record the record we want to add here is going to be a url so add a url and um, this is all we need to add so if we look on to this section here this is exactly what we want to, what we want to add in there so as we do it in real time i'll do it with you so https forward slash forward slash vcard dot link super easy to do and then forward slash oh, that's an emoji forward slash card forward slash and this is our unique identifier for this card ft uh, remember guys capital letters here is important that last part or this whole link is important with capital letters. it must be exactly as it says here if you can i would maybe just copy this and then whatsapp it to yourself so it's easier you don't have to type it out um and that's all that is and say so, okay now we're happy with that now next thing you do is write this so where's my nfc card we'll write and write complete okay and we go back to our uh, back to our desktop and we put the card there open up using chrome and there it is there's your details and then all you have to do all you can do now is click save and we'll save to your phone you can click it and then it comes up as a contact so that's how that's done on an android and i guarantee you i promise you you can also do this on iphone so it'll work exactly the same on an iphone however it is formatted a whole lot better for iphone it actually looks way cleaner on iphone actually i don't have one here to show you unfortunately i'm an android guy but that's exactly how it's done okay so while i was editing i actually found a much better way to do this so you can still do it this way if you want however to me, it kind of seems not that professional to be able to send a client or send someone to this particular website if they tap your card, right? So I wanted to find a way to send them directly to a contact on their phones instead of it going through this kind of portal. So for iPhone, this works exceptionally well. What you can do is instead of, instead of using this web URL link I said previously, what you can do is you can use the, the direct VCF file. This will send them the authentication on their phone to actually show up as a contact so i'm going to do that with you real quickly just so i can show you what that looks like um you probably won't see it on my phone because i have an android but let's just check it out real quick we're going to write another contact real quick add record we're going to go url and we're going to go for this link this vcf file link here so we just type in https vcard.link forward slash wow forward slash card forward slash b f small t r dot b b c f so that there now is the link directly to this website's database for your VCF card. So if I write this now, and I write store tag, <clears throat> write, write complete. So now when we scan this, it'll go to directly to Chrome still. However, it'll download the card immediately. So I've already done this. This is download again. So you say, okay, cool, no problem. It downloads. You open it so this was hap this was this is what happens on samsung on or on android but on iphone this doesn't happen immediately it just pops up as a contact that looks like this so you don't have to send them to this particular strange looking you know website with that well what's this what i have to do now it just shows up with a contact instead so that is an easier way to get that done so one thing to remember about this guys is that on iphone the place to scan nfc tags is generally near the top of the phone and it's also around the camera depending on the model but generally speaking it's in the upper section of an iphone so please remember that another thing to remember is that there's a small negotiation period where it doesn't show you the nfc data immediately so when you're scanning an iphone make sure to tap and hold it for a bit and at the top of the screen you should see your pop-up 
click that and that's exactly how you will get your v-card okay guys and that is all it is if this video helped you i really hope it did uh, please like and subscribe because it really helps out the channel um, and that's exactly how you get nfc cards to work on iphone i will see you in the next one ciao for now